Welcome back to Wondering Three Bars. Today we have an exciting new gadget to share with you. It's the Flavor Blaster Mini. You may have seen me using this smoking gun in some of my past videos. It's a pretty cool smoker tool that can also make cocktail smoke bubbles. So why would I get another one? The main reason is that instead of wood chips, this uses these flavor cartridges with an aroma liquid. You don't have to fool with a lighter and wood chips. You just fill and attach the cartridge and you're ready to go. It almost seems like a vape for your drinks. Besides the ease of use, the other huge advantage of the Flavor Blaster is different flavors. Since the smoking gun relied on wood chips, the types of cocktails it would complement were a little limited. I think it's best suited to cocktails like Old Fashions and others that use aged spirits. I don't think that the wood smoke would work as well with fruitier cocktails. This is where the flavor blaster comes in. Don't get me wrong, the other smoker is great, especially considering it costs about $65 while this one is over $300, unless you're able to catch a sale and coupon code and get it for around $250 like I did. The flavor blaster mini starter kit includes citrus and passion fruit aroma liquid, two cartridges, the bubble mixture, and a couple other accessories. This is targeted to home bartenders. There's also a Flavor Blaster Pro, which is more suitable for commercial use. So I'm going to make a Cosmopolitan like I normally do, but instead of using the vodka, I'm going to use this old smoky ginger lime whiskey. It goes really well in a Cosmo, and if you're interested in this, I have a video with three different cocktails that I make with it. I'm going to put in about an ounce and a half or 45 milliliters of it. Three quarters of an ounce or about 22 milliliters of fresh lime juice. Three quarters of an ounce or 22 milliliters of Cointreau. And finally about half an ounce of cranberry juice cocktail to give it some pink color. And if you are using pure cranberry juice, you might want to throw in some simple syrup. I'm going to give this cocktail a nice shake and double strain it into my octopus glass. To make the bubble, I'm going to dip the tip of the flavor blaster into this bubble mixture. Um, they even include this cute little bowl um, to put your mixture in. And you shake it before you use it. And I've already loaded this with a citrus cartridge. Which looks like this. So you just dip this in the bubble mixture. Pull the trigger. And the key to a good bubble is like kind of making sure it makes contact with nothing but the liquid. And also having a glass that's shaped a certain way. That actually didn't last as long as most, but it gives me an excuse to make another one. The bubble doesn't seem to affect the flavor much, but as you can see, the aroma and theatrics from the smoke definitely add to the experience of this cocktail. Speaking of flavors, they offer a very wide range of them. I've ordered ginger, mixed berry, coconut, bubblegum, and coffee. Let me know in the comments below if you have cocktail ideas for those flavors. I love subscriber suggestions. You can even just use water to practice making bubbles if you don't want to make a drink. It's also fun to see how large you can make a bubble. So there you have it, the Flavor Blaster Mini. Let me know if you'd like to see a more extensive comparison video between this and my older wood smoke gun, or if you have unanswered questions about either tool. I definitely recommend this to home bartenders who really want to wow their guests. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting cocktail tips, tricks, and reviews.